What up, y'all, man? I'm Skip Ghost Hartman. You all know what it is. I am and will always be the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest sneaker content creator on earth. Facts, man. Today's date is I forget, but we are in the year 2024. And speaking of the year 2024, we are going to talk about the Air Jordan releases that's coming up in the spring and the summer. A lot of these shoes are trash. Those are bull. They are. Me being a sneaker content creator, I'm going to let you all know I got to keep it real with you all because I'm not going to be no goofy-ass sneaker YouTuber that every single shoe that I talk about, I'm going to be like, oh, oh they're, oh, I'm going to try to cop that week. Not over here on this side. You can watch them do that week. Not over here. So over here on this channel, we're going to laugh and we're going to talk about these damn shoes for the year 2024 coming out uh, for spring and summer. But before I get into the little video, man, go ahead and give me that Breadman P intro. Let's do it. Nothing change, we don't mess with you lames. Most underrated in the game. Yeah. Skip goes hard. Disconnect the haters from the ballers. Are you standing in line for the dollar? Yeah. Almighty. You ain't never seen a shoe like this. Get them you ain't never bust a move like this. You ain't, no you ain't rocking nothing new like this. On, you ain't never watch YouTube like this. Damn. All right, y'all, we are back. So the first. With these two shoes, they're going to be in twos, in groups of two. So uh, the first two shoes we are going to talk about is the are these shoes right here. Now, this is the military blue on top and the lightning 17 lows on the bottom. Now, we all know what's going to happen with the military blues, military blue fours up top. They're getting copped. They're going to get purchased. People are going to double up and triple up on these shoes right here because uh, the military blues with the Nike on the back, them hoes haven't released in a long ass time. So you already know when it comes to shoes that haven't released in a long ass time when they are a certain silhouette, a certain model. Ones, threes, and fours, sometimes fives are the ones that people really go crazy. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs like a bitch for these military blue fours for sure. They're going to get picked up. Now we got the Air Jordan 17 Lows. 17 Lows haven't released in a long ass time. Now, I believe the price tag for these are like $300. So only the strong survives, goddamn. We're going to see who got that $300. I think $300 plus tax. We are going to see who has that $300 plus tax when it comes to the Air Jordan 17 uh Thunder and the Lightning, the Lightning 17 lows. Now, I hear that they're supposed to come in that suitcase. The suitcase that does not do shit for the shoe. You're not going to see anybody walk around with that suitcase with the shoes inside. Even when the damn 17s came out, I have two pairs of 17s. I was not walking out, and I wasn't walking around out and about with the 17 uh, little briefcase. That shit sat at home and I wore the shoes. So people are getting happy for the for the briefcase, but you can't do nothing with that but store old ass iPods and electronics and shit like I do with my 17 box and old ass birthday Christmas cards in my other box. So these are cool, man. They're they're gonna do some numbers, I believe. Anyway, next. So next up, we got the oxidized green fours and the, I believe the Oreo sixes. Now, these oxidized fours, uh, well, they're not the pine green fours. Now, not the pine green SB. So these, I'm not really sure. I don't even know if there's going to be any hype attached to it, any resale value attached to the oxidized four, the oxidized green fours. Uh, it's that shit simple green. I'm not really feeling the oxidized green, the green four, so they really don't do nothing for me. But if you're a Jordan head that feels like you gotta have every Air Jordan on earth, and especially if your silhouette, if your if your favorite model is the Air Jordan four, you'll probably pick them up because they're dope, or you think you can do something with it. You probably can't do anything with these, so they're gonna be a pass for me. And then we got these Oreo sixes right here. Uh. I like Air Jordan sixes, but sixes are not my sixes are not really my cup of tea nor taste of drink. So I really can't do anything with the Oreo sixes. I like the speckled, you know what I mean, that Oreo speckled stuff like that. But it's a six, it's a white ass six, and I really don't really rock. I mean, I like sixes, but I really don't rock sixes like that. So these two shoes can't do shit for me. Uh, on to the next one. So we got the uh, women's Air Jordan 1, shiny ones, whatever the hell, and some Space Jam 11 lows. Now, the women's, this Jordan 1 right here, I know, bro, these hoes are going to have no resale value to them. So it might be easy for you to get. 
uh, I, I wouldn't even know what to rock with these Jordan ones. I think they're women's Jordan ones too. So I don't know what I can wear with these besides a white t-shirt and some blue jeans. Like I'm goddamn Cody from Final Fight, Axel from Streets of Rage. So them, them Jordan ones, they're gonna be a pass for me. And then we get the Space Jam 11 lows. Like I like 11 lows, you know what I mean? I've had many, many pairs of Air Jordan 11 lows. So these Space Jams, they look good. They actually look like an Air Jordan Space Jam 11 but drop top version so if i got some extra money laying around you know what i mean and i got nothing else to do i might pick these up but if i pick these jordan 11 lows up it's gonna be for a uh, uh, retail plus a little discount because i'm not going full retail for these nah next one so we got the i don't know goddamn taxi red 12s and the green glow one uh i have taxis they're still dead stock from the first, I mean, from the most recent release. So that little puss ass little red on the side of it, where the, I guess the, where the Jordan is, a little tab or jump, oh, jump man, I believe. I don't know like that. These taxes are not doing it for me. I'm not picking up this shoe. If you see me with these shoes on feet, just know I did not pay retail for them. Just know that. And then we got the green glow ones. Uh, they don't really do anything for me either. You know what I mean? Like only when it, talk, when it, when it comes to green glow, Jordan's fours is what i know i don't know anything about a green glow one like i said you know, if you see me with these green glow ones on my feet them hoes are below retail so y'all get y'all's ass out of here next up we got the latte air jordan one latte ones and then we got a gym red one now i'm gonna keep it real with you all when it comes to these brown ass colorways when it comes to jordans they if, if the motherfuckers are not a Travis Scott Mocha High 1 or Travis Scott Mocha Jordan 1 Low or the actual Mocha 1s that came out in 2020. If it's not these three shoes, bro, they, they need to just leave that damn brown shoe shit alone. And this brown, this is like a fall, maybe like a fall type colorway. You know when it starts to get cold outside and you motherfuckers who think you all can dress, put a little puss ass, little pea coat on, little bullshit jeans, and then your little brown colored shoes like that. These latte ones are not doing it for me. And these latte ones are not mocha ones. So I don't think the resale is going to be high. And when I say resale is going to be high, I'm thinking, I'm saying, I don't think it's going to be a big, big want for these latte ones but don't take my word for it don't be going around saying you watch skip goes hard video and the black ass with the red glove said hey people don't be getting the latte ones and then they all sold out sell out you know what i mean don't take my word for it i'm telling you all what i'm talking about and these latte ones are not for me if you see me with a latte one on my feet just know i got my hoes uh uh, uh below retail because they ain't do shit for me the gym red ones now these little bitches are cute you know what i mean i like that kind of like dark red it's a gym red one you know what i mean this is one of the shoes that uh released early so uh some of you all got a pair got a chance to get your gym red ones uh you know what i mean if you didn't if you won don't worry they'll release whenever they release but the gym red, red the gym red ones are nice so if you see me with these gym red ones on feet just know that i wanted them yes get y'all's ass out of here <clears throat> Next up, we got some shiny Jordan 1 low, 1 lows, and a creamy pink 11 low. I ain't got shit for these. Get y'all, they ain't both of these hoes. Weak trash. Next. And then the last, we got the Dusty Clay. I don't know the, I don't know the names of these. So we got the Dusty Clay 13s, a.k.a. Uh, I wish I had the Ben 13s. And we got a Shadow Low Jordan 1. Now, shadow, the Shadow Low ones, uh, they released early today. Uh, uh, some people got a chance to pick up these Shadow 1 lows. Now, I don't know what it is, but the Shadow 1 Lows, them hoes, they, they, now these look like bowling shoes to me. Um, I like the Shadow Jordan 1 as an OG colorway, and they're cool and all like that. So, But that's not really, I really want for these Shadow. I like Jordan 1 Lows. Let's not get it fucked up. I like Jordan 1 Lows, but if it comes to these Shadow 1 Lows, they're not, they don't really grab me by my by my collar and, and pull me to it. You know what I mean? They kind of just staring at me, and I'm staring at them like, what you want to do? Look at this. And then the Dusty Clay 13s, a.k.a. the Ben 13s. Look, Jordan brand Nike, y'all need to just give that, give it up, give it up. People don't give a fuck about Air Jordan 13s no more. <clears throat> 13s used to have that strong uh, a run back in the day, but you see they brought back the OG Week 13s, and them hoes are still sitting. Air Jordan 13s are not doing it. They're not doing it no more. And 13 is one, 13 is one of my favorite models. But this Dusty Clay 13, bro, oh, them hoes are going to sit so hard. It's going to be sad, man. It's going to be sad. As, as a matter of fact, get y'all's asses out of here. 
And that is it. Look, I'm Skip Ghost Hartman, the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest sneaker content creator on earth. Facts, man. Like the video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get that push to 20K subscribers. I'll get there when I get there. Thank you all for watching. If you laugh, y'all really need to subscribe, subscribe to the damn channel. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below on all the sneakers that I talked about. Leave a comment below on the ones that you like. Leave a comment below the ones that you don't like. Can it be real? The only shoe uh, motherfuckers is really going to be trying to be pushing for is probably the damn, well, not probably, the military blue uh, uh, fours. That's mainly it. Maybe those damn high-ass uh, lightning 17 lows. We'll see. You all take care. I'm out. Subscribe to the channel. Peace.